So now we've used the Dremel tool and we've gone inside there and we've gotten into all the cracks and removed those uh, nubs that were holding in the old fin box and we've gotten to the three back screws at this point and everything's starting to loosen up quite nicely. We're down to our last screw um, and as you can see everything's pretty clean. Uh, all we need now is to start getting in there and uh, prying out each one of the screws. And after the last uh, dremeling around the edge of the fin box, uh, you can take a wedge, a little chisel, and go on the sides, but not too much because you don't want to damage the sides. It's a lot easier to repair any damage you do underneath the fin box. Delicately lift the fin box off with the screws. Insert the screw. And it should start coming up. It might come off in sections. As you can see, the back section is actually quite loose at this point of the mm -hmm. fin box. Uh, the front section we'll need to play around with a little bit to loosen it up. Okay, so now the fin box has popped off. And as you can see, the screws weren't too deep, just deep enough to get out. And there's no major damage on the bottom section, nothing that a little bit of epoxy can't fix. If you notice the sides, it's nice and smooth, uh, no major issues there. Uh, we're going to clean it up with the sanding tool from the Dremel next in order to get our new fin box in uh, so that it fits more snug. Right now it just won't quite fit, but this will take care of that. And make sure that you take away equal sides um, proportionally so that you don't have a fin that's on one side or the other. And again, just uh, take your time at this point because setting in the box is, is incredibly important. Okay, one of the key things here is that um, if you're not careful with the, the sander or the DeWalt, what will end up happening is you'll go through the wall of epoxy that's already there. And uh, as soon as you go through the wall of epoxy, you're into the foam of the board and the drill, the Dremel will actually just eat right through that. So this is an area where you have to take a lot of caution so you don't get too many big dips into the styrofoam so you don't damage any of the interior. Okay, at this point we've cleaned out the whole box, everything's nice and clean in there, there's no old resin, a little bit of black um, plastic from the old fin box, but everything's gone, everything's sanded in there. And now we're going to build up the walls uh, with tape so that once we do get the epoxy in there, it kind of acts like a little uh, channel just to prevent the epoxy from spilling over into the other spots of the board. At this point we highly recommend that you check to make sure you haven't drilled through your stringer to end up on the other side of the board because if you have all your epoxies simply going to leak, <laughs> leak out through the other side. Uh, this is not recommended and uh, we'll show you what the wall looks like once it's built up. We'll set the fin in and uh, then we're on our way. Okay so now the board is actually taped. What we've done is we've built a little wall with tape as well as made the extended tape layers on the board. Um, the wall is to prevent any of the resin from going anywhere. We've also made sure that the board is level so that the resin doesn't leak out. And the rest of the tape, three or four layers thick, is so when we use the belt sander, um, it doesn't chew away at your board surface. You want to try and keep this as nice as possible. So it just adds an extra layer of protection and certainly is a gonna cost. Yeah, it's going to save you some time so that you don't have to make another repair. Okay, now uh, this is a very important part. You get the resin in to all the little uh, nooks and crannies of your fin box. You want to make sure that it's good and uh, thick. This is where that wall of tapes really going to help you out here. Any extra we're going to mop up soon. And make sure that it's absolutely straight down your board. You can line it up with the stringer and you can see that when you're right dead center, it's right in the middle of the stringer. Very, very important. Uh, really helps out and keeps everything in line so you're not constantly turning one way or another.